starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. before you get there. Boy, you got a new horn. Let me honk it. Okay, but be careful. I just got it for my birthday. That's enough. You'll wear out the battery. I gotta catch up. See you later. Wish I had a bike. Straight, Ruth. Perfect. Timmy's late. He's not late to school, he's late from school. It's a bad habit and I don't like it. School's a long way. Well, that's no excuse. When I was his age... Sometimes I wonder if you ever were that age. Hello, Timmy. You're late. Hi, Lassie. What took you so long? I... I just after school. Just a little while, though. Why, son? I... I was late this morning. Again? Put your books away. I'll get you some cookies and milk. And a goodie for you, too, girl. You can't calm the troubled waters all the time, Ruth. If he needs a scolding, he needs it. I know. I just thought that staying after school... It's punishment enough for one day. Well, if it was up to you, you'd never hear a harsh word. That's not true. It's just that... Why were you late this morning? You left in plenty of time. I don't know. Every day that school seems farther and farther away. If I just had a bike... Well, I think you're too young. Besides, you don't know how to ride. I've got work to do. I just don't understand you. Only last week you said that Timmy was too small to have a bike. You're worrying about him getting hurt and going out on the highway. I know. I know. But what Timmy says is true. Every child at that school who has to travel some distance to get there has one. But your philosophy's all wrong. I should buy him a bike because he's never late for school, not because he always is. You're wrong. I didn't know we were raising him on a penal system. Time out for good behavior. We're not, only... Only what? I still say he's too young. Too young for what? Isn't that a little arbitrary? Maybe it is. We're going to get him one for Christmas, aren't we? You know we are. Well, then let's move Christmas up a little. Well, you've got as much to say about it as I have. I was going in town tomorrow, so uh, I guess tomorrow's Christmas, huh? <laughs> I just hope we don't regret it. Hi. Hi. We're just coming to your house. Why? I wanted to ask you. Would you show me how to ride your bike? Uh-uh. Run on your own. I haven't got one. Well, then get one. My pop says I'm too little. What do you want me to do? Let you break mine? Please, Mike, let me try. If I learn how to ride, then maybe my dad will get me one. No. Wait a minute, Mike. A quarter? You mean you want to pay me? Mm-hmm. I should get out of my bank. Oh, well, then, okay. Now, first, you put your leg over and get your foot on the pedal. And I'll push it straight. You let go. What do you expect? That's the way you learn. I hope nothing's broken. I'm all right. I mean on the bike. I'm all 
right, Lassie. That's it. You've got it. You've got it, Jimmy. Now put on the brake. Put on the brake. Oh. Now get off. You've had your quarter's worth today. And I'm going home. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Good, I can practice all day. I said you've had your money's worth. And anyway, I have to go to the dentist tomorrow morning. I'll give you another quarter. If I can check it out of my bank. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Come on, Lassie. Why, hello, Timmy. Hello, Lassie. Is my... Michael home from the dentist yet, Mrs. Creel? Not yet. Oh. Michael told me you were coming by to practice again. Will you be home soon? I really don't know. But I don't think he'd mind your using his bike until he comes home. I'll be right down there on the road. I won't go far. Well, just be careful and bring it back soon. I will. Thanks. <laughs> You'll find it around I by know. the... <laughs> Kill somebody? I'm sorry. Well, you should be. I didn't see you. You were looking right at me. Having to walk is bad enough without some crazy kid trying to run over you. Lassie. You watch that dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> Timmy, huh? A little far from home, aren't you, son? What are you doing? Nothing. Just walking. Come on, I'll drive you home. Well. Well? Uh, no, you better hop up front with me. Let Lassie ride back there. Okay. What's Lassie barking about? I don't know. Probably a rabbit. calling. Me? You. He seemed very anxious. Hello? Yes, he's here. It's Mike. Hello? Yes, 
I did. Now? Okay. No, nothing to matter. Honest. You don't have to come all the way here. I'll meet you. Bye. Is there anything wrong, son? No. He just wanted to play. Is that all right? We're just going to be down the road. All right, dear. But supper's in half an hour. I won't be late. That's a moot point. That was a very strange phone conversation. Probably a meeting of the secret handshake club, huh? Oh, no, he doesn't belong to it. <laughs> the bike's in the back of the truck. Now, come on. it is in all its brand new glory now. Ain't it a beaut? It's a beaut. Oh, wait till Timmy sees it. Come on, help me get it out of here. <laughs> when are we going to give it to him? Well, I've got it all figured out. I'll hide it in one of the stalls in there, and then I'll send him into the barn for something, you know, and voila. <laughs> Ain't it a beaut and voila. What a talent for languages. Come on. Maybe somebody stole it. We should bring him home fast. They warn us. Mike's waiting for me. What am I going to tell him? That's Mike again. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Creel. No? He didn't say anything to me about it. Well, I'm sure there's no need for Mike to worry. Timmy's probably taking it to your house right now. Of course I understand. Goodbye. What was that all about? <laughs> At last. We'll let him tell us. I'm sorry I'm late. Timmy, Mike's mother just called. You wanted him to tell us, now let him. I bought Mike's bike. I hid it in the woods. I can't find it. It's gone. What right have you borrowing his bicycle? I want to learn how to 
ride. Because if I thought if I did, you would give me one. Why did you hide it, son? Because today when you were coming down the road, I didn't want you to know. Why not, Timmy? Why didn't you want us to know? At first I wanted it to be a surprise. And then I had to pay Mike. Pay him? With what? I took some money out of my bank. Well, we'll talk about that later. Are you sure the bike isn't where you left it, son? I put it behind some bushes. And when we went there, it was gone. Couldn't Mike have found it? He wasn't home when his mother called. Maybe he was playing a joke. No, he wasn't. He's waiting for me, just like I told you. And he didn't have it. Did you look for it? Yes. All right. Come with me. <laughs> Be quiet, Lassie. was yours. But it isn't yours anymore, Timmy. Is it Mike's now? I want you to take it to him before supper. And don't write it to me. It doesn't belong to you. Well, you said you hoped we wouldn't regret it. Do you think I'm happy it turned out I was right? Paul, there's one thing you were wrong about, though. Don't you think we should have looked for Mike's bicycle first? I intend to look for it, but finding that bike isn't the most important thing now. Mike will get a bicycle one way or another. The important thing is that Timmy has got to learn he must pay for his irresponsible behavior. What if we find Mike's bike? Well, we'll decide that if we find it. When are you going to look for it? I'll take the truck and meet Timmy when I think he's on the way back from the Creels. Then he can show me where he thinks he hid it. Somebody might have stolen it. Yeah, I know. Trouble for this dog, you better be on your way. 
Lassie knew that man had the bike, but I just wouldn't listen to her. She's a good girl. gonna let you use your bike? Two weeks, if I keep getting to school and home on time. Two weeks? As long as I know it's there, I gotta keep trying to earn it. Well, I guess that's not too long to wait for a bike. Bye. See you at school. Bye. Come on, Lassie. We won't be late today, either. <laughs> 